Akinthosis implies hyperplasia or increased thickening of the stratum malpighii. Usually the reet ridges are preserved, elongated and or thickened. The suprapapillary portions of the epidermis may appear thinned, psoriasis, normal or thickened. Acanthosis is subdivided into regular when the reet ridges end at about the same level and irregular. We use the term lace like acanthosis when there is elongation of reet ridges without thickening of epidermis psoriasiform dermatitis there are multiple disorders which histologically may demonstrate regular acanthosis similar to that seen in psoriasis but lack all of the classic features of psoriasis the following is a list of such disorders with features that differ from psoriasis chronic eczematous dermatitis often Acanthosis is more irregular than that of psoriasis mycosis fungoids, epidermotropism of atypical lymphocytes, which may form potriae microabscesses parapsoriasis, similar to mycosis fungoids. Except cytologic atypia not definitively identified pityriasis rubra polaris, classically has Parafollicular parakeratosis Writer's disease. Early lesions similar to psoriasis. Older lesions. May be distinguished by massive hyperkeratosis Bowen's disease. Windblown. Appearance of. Atypical keratinocytes Secondary syphilis. Paravascular infiltrate may include plasma cells. Dermal blood vessels may be dilated with large endothelial cells Pityriasis rosea. Dyskeratotic. Keratinocytes, extravasated red blood cells in dermal papillae, columnar parakeratosis, incontinentia pigmenti, eosinophils within epidermis.